Hey, what's up, everybody? Guess what? I believe I have the only interview of County Executive Armin Buies before he leaves office. We sat down and we talked a long time. We talked about the highs and the lows of being the county executive, what the new county executive may be expecting, talked about projects that he wished he could have got done and things that we could do better. Armin Butis, December 11th. You're not going to want to miss it right here. Strategic Moves with Ken Dow. Make sure you go to the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell as well so that you will know when it comes on. Armin Butis, don't want to miss it. See you then. And, and up there was because they made that into a uh, another big issue um, that, you know, hey, this Jane and the Hunter, kids are living on the floors, this and that, and all of this and that. And I told him, I said, I like to truly believe, because I know Armin, that Armin is just not allowing these kids to be on the floor and that situation over there. So just as we always know, there's always more to it than what we all know. So Armin, tell the folks what's going on at Jane and the Hunter and why are they we having such an issue with those kids in Jane and a Hunter. So first of all, for your viewers and listeners, Jane and a Hunter is the building uh, where yes. our uh, Department of Children and Family Services is located. The DCFS, Children and Family Services, uh, has is the backstop. It's the it's the last resort uh, for custody for kids. Mm -hmm. uh, if a parent for example, uh, can't handle their kid or won't handle their kid or doesn't even, you know, the kid runs away or whatever it might be. Um, the county has the uh, final responsibility um, uh, for that child. And uh, the police pick somebody up, a kid, you know, uh, and uh, if the kid has committed some kind of serious crime, they go to the juvenile detention Mm -hmm. center where they get adjudicated and mm -hmm. sometimes held uh, but the juvenile detention center is filled with murderers mm -hmm. and rapists mm -hmm. and you know really serious mm -hmm. crime mm -hmm. uh short of that the police drop them off at the jane and the hunter building mm. because they got to go somewhere the police can't just leave somebody out there that's mm -hmm. you know shoplifting or or beating somebody up or, you know, whatever. Those aren't serious enough for the juvenile detention center to take them. So they drop them off at the juvenile, at the um, Department of Job and, uh, uh, Children and Family Services for the county. Um, lots of kids over the course of a year get dropped off there. Um, the county employees immediately get on the phones and start to try to find them a placement, either temporary or permanent placement mm -hmm. uh, where they can be uh, kept for, you know, reside for a period of time. 90% mm -hmm. um, of the kids that come in there, maybe even a little bit more are easy to place mm -hmm. and get placed quickly in, you know, hours. And some of the kids, you know, get dropped off at, you know, 11 at night or two in the morning you know, the, the mm. kids are not, you know, this is not just a daytime thing. And so. Is somebody there that late at night? Somebody's always there. Wow. So they, uh, they get most of the kids placed quickly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there are some portion of the kids, not a lot, but some portion mm -hmm. that nobody will take, mm -hmm. that they can't get placed. Um, the kids are dangerous. Mm -hmm. Uh, but juvenile court won't take them. So, but they haven't committed a crime. Well, so that even they, they may have committed some crimes, but really? they're not serious enough crimes right. for okay. juvenile, uh, for the juvenile court to take. Gotcha. So, you know, but, but, you know, the, the word goes out about these kids, they mm -hmm. become known in the, uh, in the uh, social services field mm -hmm. and places won't take them. Mm. We have, had a devil of a time trying to place some of these kids. They just, no place to go. You know, places like Parmadale used to take these kids. Now they're closed. Mm -hmm. It was too much. Mm -hmm. um, we have uh, purchased a bed at Belfair, for example, mm -hmm. uh, to place a kid uh, when they be, you know, difficult kids. Um, even they can't take the worst of the worst. Mm. Uh, 
uh, and we pay for that bed, we're paying a thousand dollars a day mm. for that bed wow. because nobody else. I mean, you know, we got to have a place to put these kids, and mm. even then, they don't always take the kids. So we've put out requests for bids to the community, uh, to providers. We get nothing. We get no takers. So wow. what are you going to do with the kids? Mm. So. Yes, there are kids that stay overnight at Jane Ed and the Hunter. We try everything we can to not have that be. Mm -hmm. We finally, in the last round, we did a, a request for bids, I don't know, a month ago or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and we finally got a bid from a combination of the Centers for Families and Children and the Ch Christian Children's Home. Mm -hmm. uh, they've merged together and they have agreed on a contract for a no eject, no reject. Ooh. In other words, you know, they can't say, say no, no. Right. and they can't, you know, take them for an hour and then and turn, turn them, them loose. away. Right. Wow. So if that works, if they can really do it, that'll solve a lot of the problem. Then there won't have to be kids staying overnight. At then you'll get it done before you leave? We're trying. Mm -hmm. We're trying. We've got the agreement made. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's done. It, it, they're just now hiring staff. That's the only delay. They have to have enough staff to make sure they can handle the kids. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, I think we'll get it done before I leave. I, I'd like for you to get that done before you. Not even though not uh, not just so that you can have that under your record to show that you got that accomplished. That you you didn't let that fester as some might want to believe that it's just out there. You know, like that. I, I like to know. I like, it would be good for the public to know that you got did handle that. We are doing everything we can. This is Strategic Moves with Ken Dow. 